Hey, people. The big news so far this week. The Orange Blossom Classic. It's a preview, is it, of the Celebration Bowl. North Carolina Central versus Alabama State. Doesn't it just sound lovely? Well, that's what they're trying to kind of counteract right now. With the whole press conference, you trying to get the idea that you don't need Jackson, you don't need FAMU in Florida to sell the Orange Blossom Classic by having two of the biggest, let's just call them the others of the Celebration Bowl period. Maybe, just maybe, we can get attention and we can get butt in seats. So when you're not having teams play four games all over the country, back to back to back, maybe the fans will see this as a destination, not a punishment. So the question is, Alabama State was NC Central. Would anybody come? Let's be honest, the last couple of years, yeah, it may have said they had 34 to 40,000 people, but it sure didn't look like it. It was a bad game on television when it comes to viewership. Well, not viewership, more like production. It looked like no one at the game. Even with Dion's first year, it looks empty. But now, when you have two schools that are not part of Florida, one is not part of the SWAC, can these two schools bring the fans? To be honest with you, I'd rather be in Miami than any one of those two cities. But will people come and actually go to the actual game? Better yet, will it actually translate into viewership numbers? on ESPN. Or question, will it even be on ESPN? When you go to the Orange Blossom Classic and you see how can I watch Orange Blossom Classic? Of course, Google is not a definitive answer. I get that. But it doesn't say anything about ESPN. At all. It says clip my horse TV on your laptop. Maybe, just maybe, it'll be on ESPN, two, three, the four test. But the question is not going to be, can anybody watch it? Will anybody watch it? Will anybody go? The final question is, is this a preview of the Celebration Bowl? Alabama State, the team that finished third last year in the SWAC East. Now with fam, you falling apart and firing everybody and taking weird money checks, they're no longer the, the head dog after one year. Jackson, they're rebuilding. Is, uh, is their rebuilding done? Are they ready to dominate? Well, Alabama State plays them at home. So it could come down to that game. With, with Andrew Body on the roster now, what moves can be made? Better yet, Central. Central was on the way to be the, 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 the upset darling of the playoff. They played a Richmond team that had previously lost to Morgan State. Central beat Morgan State. All they were wanting Central to do? Good Central. Hang on and win. They did But now that they're built up, can they get back to the celebration mode? This right here is the test of that. Which school is going to start off hot? Which school is not? Which school will get the, the dub and make this the preview that the other school didn't want to see? If I had to put money on the game, who I wanted to see win, I want to say out of state, I want them to win. If I had to put money on the game who I thought would win, I got to go central. What do y'all think? 
Find me out in the comments. Coach Simmons, have a blessed